In layman's term, Arduino is a single board computer. You might be wondering how this board can be a single board computer. You will understand the meaning by end of this video. Previously, building anything was only limited to engineers and professionals. This stereotype was shattered by these five guys and created a complete platform including hardware, easy programming language, IDE, library ecosystem, interface module that is also known as Arduino Shield and most importantly a community. So using Arduino anyone can build anything without any prior experiences. You can do a lot of things using Arduino. You can build interesting robot, you can build your 3D printer, you can build any embedded system and IoT products, you can automate anything. So with Arduino possibilities endless and for you sky is the limit. To get started with Arduino you need to install Arduino IDE. You can download the IDE from Arduino website. Installation is as usual. Just remember to press yes if it wants to install driver. Open Arduino IDE after installation. You will write your program here. Arduino call the program a fancy name that is sketch. Sketch has two functions void setup and void loop. Anything that you need to uh, configure only once you have to write inside the void setup and anything you have to do continuously and repeatedly you have to write inside the void loop. So now you need a Arduino board to upload your program. Arduino board has a microcontroller chip named ATmega328 which is the main part of the board. Microcontroller is an integrated IC with processor, RAM, EPROM, input output pins and lot of peripherals. So you are finding the similarity between computer and Arduino. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. Let's write our first program blink and LED. For this we need to understand the Arduino IO pin basics. This is an Arduino Uno board. On the both side of the Arduino Uno board we can see many GPIO pins. This pin can be divided into two categories input output pins and power supply pins. Pin 0 to 13 and pin A0 to A5 are input output pins. That means we can use these pins for taking inputs like button press, mouse input and controlling different actuators and devices. And the rest of the pins are for powering the board. Input output pins can be categorized into few more types. We will discuss that later. Arduino IDE has built in examples for interfacing with different modules and hardware. We will open the blink LED example to control the onboard LED connected with pin 13. To open the blink LED example, go to file examples basics blink the example program has a detailed description of connection mechanism as each pin can be used as input and output the pin mode function sets either the pin behave as input or output and the digital write function decides pin state that the pin should be on or off delay function wait for a particular millisecond that's all about the program to upload the program First you have to connect the Arduino board through USB. Then you have to select the port the board is connected with. If you don't see the Arduino board on the port list then you have a problem with driver installation. The next thing you have to select is your board type. In our case that is Arduino Uno. Now we are all set for uploading the program. Press the upload button and wait for the magic to happen. Now you see LED is blinking on pin 13 as expected. So we have completed our first experiment on Arduino. Congratulations. Now we will see how to take input from the button and control LED depending on that. To open the example go to file examples digital button. Let's explain the code a bit. For button input pin 2 is used and for LED output pin 13 is used which is also the default connected LED on the void set of function. The first pin mode is setting the LED as digital output and the second pin mode is setting the button pin as digital input. So digital write function reading the current state of the button whether the button is pressed or not. Depending on the button current state it is turning the LED on or off. That's all about the program is. Uh, it's so simple right. The circuit connection is explained at the beginning of the example. LED is already connected with pin 13. Connect the button as instructed here. Before connecting the button, just make sure that you are connecting through the normally open terminal of the button. Now upload the program and press the button. So LED is uh, turning on when the button is pressing and turning off when the button is releasing. Now you are all clear about the digital input and digital output. 
So far, we have dealt with logical 0 and logical 1 that are 0 volt and 5 volt for Arduino Uno board. Real world signals are not like 0 volt or 5 volt. Think about a temperature sensor LM35. It generates any voltage in between 0 to 5 volt depending on the temperature. Arduino has an option to read analog signals and convert that into a 10 bit value of 0 to 1023. That means 0 volt will be 0, 5 volt will be 1023 and 2.5 volt will be 512. So the conversion relation is linear. Arduino Uno has specific pins for reading analog voltage that are A0 to A5. To read an analog signal, open the example from the file. Example basic analog grid serial. Had the analog grid function reading the analog value from the corresponding input pin A0, but we need display the output to see the analog reading. We can do that in two ways connecting an LCD with the Arduino board. The easiest way is printing the analog output to the computer serial terminal. To do so, we need to activate the serial communication protocol. Serial.begin function initiate the communication process. 9603 is the baud rate or data transfer speed. This rate has to be the same for Arduino and PC. After reading the data, serial.println function is sending the data over the serial port. To set up the experiment, we need a potentiometer so that we can provide any voltage between 0 to 5. One terminal of the potentiometer goes to 5 and another terminal will go to ground and the middle pin will be connected with A0 pin. Now upload the sketch and open the terminal window from tools monitor. We are all set for this experiment. Change the position of the port. And now we see that analog value is changing from 0 to 1023 for the analog voltage of 0 to 5 volt. Now we can also see the output on Arduino serial plotter. Now see that I am changing the uh, port position and the value is changing in the serial plotter. It's like a low bandwidth oscilloscope. Cool, right? All the topics are done. It's time to focus on analog output. When we turn the LED on, it just turned on up its maximum brightness because we applied 5 voltage across it. If we could apply 3 voltage across LED, it would turn on into less brightness. To do so, we need analog output from Arduino, but Arduino cannot do this task directly. Instead, it can modulate the digital voltage in such a way that it modulated average voltage emulates the analog output that is known as pulse width modulation in short PWM technique. To generate analog output, Arduino Uno has a specific pins. The pin that have the tilde sign are the analog output pins. Before going deeper, let's open an example from examples analog, analog in our serial. Arduino analog output can generate 8 bit value that is 0 to 255. As analog input is 10 bit and analog output is 8 bit, we need a mapping function to convert the 10 bit analog input into 8 bit analog output. So that's all about the sketch. It's time to connect the hardware for the demo. The potentiometer is already connected. Just connect an LED with a limiting resistor of 220 ohm with the Arduino digital pin 9. Upload the sketch and see the demo. It is amazing to see that the LED brightness is changing according to the potentiometer input voltage. The serial terminal is also showing that analog input is mapping into analog output for controlling the LED brightness. So in this example, potentiometer input is the example of analog input and LED brightness changing the example of analog output. So that's all about the Arduino basic. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm planning to make a details video on Arduino. And so please check the description below to get the link. And if you have any comment or question, please put your comment in the comment box. And I'm Shonkar. I'm a hardware enthusiast. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe.